No. I am your father. I don't think I can be a part of this. Season 2 of WBTV is brought to you by the Friday News Show. In this show, we go over all the news for the week. Check it out in the link in the description. Hello, and welcome back to WBTV. Um, episode 2. It's a new week. It's a new Monday. This is our Monday talk show with our guest because Blake is away at the moment. He's Jack dead. Latimer. Hello. Um... Jack Latimer is a movie extraordinaire, and today we are going to be talking about The Last Jedi. I almost called it The Force Awakens. It's not the I've called it The Force Awakens like eight times. But that would be an understatement, because from my personal opinion, it, The Force Awakens, which I didn't like either, was a way better movie than this movie. Honestly. I think The Last Jedi was better. Okay, so anyways, um, for, with that commented, we're going to be doing the first little part of this video. Spoiler free if you haven't seen the movie, and then we will jump into all the spoilers. And then there's things like that. Han Solo dies. What? Yeah, sorry. Um, so, here, let's go jump into the spoiler free part. There will probably be something at the bottom here that will change. You should do like a Star Wars type Transition like jump to light speed. Okay. Let's jump to light speed. I meant like trans. Okay, never mind. <laughs> forget, forget it. That <laughs> will stay in the video, just because. All right. Here's the spoiler-free part. I will be wearing this mask for the spoiler-free part. Then when I take off the mask, and I will be pretending will like I don't know him. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, so, um, this movie was entertaining. I can say that for it. It was, it. it was entertaining. Um, lots of silly parts, um, like I, I thought was silly. And there was kind of a lot of unnecessary moments in the movie. If you don't know, the movie is like two hours and 23 minutes. Yeah. And I think it, I think it could have been a lot, a lot shorter. They could have cut it down to an hour and a half, two hours max. But anyways, if you're a Star Wars fan or you're an action movie fan, I personally would encourage you to see it. I mean, if you're paying money, if you're a diehard Star Wars fan, don't watch it. It's just gonna make you angry. Um, but if you're just a casual Star Wars fan, or you're a Star Wars fan that just, just wants a movie to see... Fan. Yeah, or just a movies fan, or you're a Star Wars fan that just wants to see more movies, go ahead and watch this video. Now, we will transfer into the spoiler session. Did we even talk about the spoiler-free stuff? That was spoiler-free. That was? Yeah. Oh. That's... Have you ever watched a YouTube video? That's spoiler-free. Well, usually That's they just... Okay, okay, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> okay! Welcome to the spoiler, and I'm gonna put this away. Ow, my foot! <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez>. No, we <it> didn't. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so, let's start at the beginning of the movie. The beginning of the movie starts with Poe. Yeah, Poe Dameron. Going, meow. Basically, he's trying to blow up uh, a bomb ship, and he's all selfish, and he practically just gets almost everyone of, like, the very tiny amount of rebels left killed. Yeah, he gets everybody killed except him. Yeah, not the... I think one other person who lives. And then he comes back and he's like, there were heroes out there. There were heroes. And then Leia's like, no, screw you. Leia you're slaps mother. him in the face. You piece of shit. Whoa. Hey. You piece of shit. So you're this demoted. Is a child friendly. It's not a child friendly gem. So you lied to me. Anyways, hey, you were talking about racist. Yeah, I was talking about subliminal racism. Not real stuff. <laughs> This is all going to be cut out of the video, probably. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Zelaya so slaps him in the face and calls him a piece of shit and demotes him. 
Uh, that's the that's the only spoiler. That's like the entire movie that it ends. Ba, ba, na, na. See you next time. All right, I'm back. All right. Just joking. So the movie continues with this whole subplot about Kylo Ren talking to Snoke because Kylo Ren still doesn't think that he's good enough uh, to be the supreme leader. You mean Snoke doesn't? Like Snoke kind of, doesn't think that Kylo Ren's good enough. It, what is, is and Kylo Ren goes? is battling the fact that he just killed his father, and if he, is he good or is he bad? And then Snoke, spoiler, is making Rey and them talk, uh, and basically tricks Rey, who's with Luke, trying to get him to help. On the come million and, dollar island. Yeah, to come help him fight the evil guys. The Why can't I remember what they're called? Oh. The First Order. Yeah, the First Order. I don't understand the whole... On the island, it was kind of cool. The Jedi Island with the books and the trees. Yoda was in it. And then Yoda was in it. Frank Oz came back to reprise his role as Yoda, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, but, I mean, Yoda said some kind of dumb things. Yeah. He was like, oh, very shitty am I. Yeah, Yoda would never say the word I silly. I don't think he said that, He though. would say foolish. I don't think he said so. I think he said foolish. Yeah. Oh, foolish am I. You want to hear a joke? Is it that peanut joke? No, it's okay, uh, what, is it? what 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 would Yoda say if he watched the Star Wars movies in HD? What? HD am I? <laughs> okay, let's continue with the review. Um I thought that Mark Hamill did a good job, considering that Mark Hamill isn't really a, an amazing actor. I like Mark, Hamill, Mark Hamill Mark always does a good job. But I mean, Luke was kind of being a jerk the whole movie. Yeah, he was. And that just carried on for way too long. They needed, they could have cut that short a little bit. And then you find out about Luke and how Luke um, was training Kylo Ren and, and then tried to kill him because... Yeah. But then realized yeah. that that was the wrong thing, but then Kylo Ren was already awake by then and killed him and went on a killing spree and killed everybody else. And that's how he became evil. It's like in the prequel where Anakin kills all those children and then says he doesn't like sand. Yeah. I think that's how it goes. But it has better dialogue than that. I think someone, like your dog's having a stroke <laughs> or something. You should probably go check that out. Anyways, then, back on the ship, um, the Rebels have lost th thousands and thousands of people. For some reason, the Rebels are down to, like, a hundred people. And they're being chased by a giant Star Destroyer, and they're just keeping out of its range? Yeah, because the Star Destroyers can track through light speed now. So there's, and Leia, with the, the dumbest scene ever, when the ship explodes, and Leia uses the Force to come back into the ship. She lives. She doesn't die. I don't understand. I mean, I love Carrie. Carrie Fisher was a good actor. And I actress. Don't, actress. Rest and I don't, peace. Yeah, and I don't understand why they couldn't have just killed Leia then. I mean, I don't think they knew she was going to die. I know, but still, when they were editing it after she, Carrie Fisher had passed... Yeah, but they had all those scenes and they would have to reshoot them. Well, I mean, she was gone for half the movie. I guess. Because she was unconscious in some weird incubator thing. Anyways, then uh, this, the, then the, um, Jurassic Park comes in and Lauren takes over. Lauren Dean. Ellie from, I think it's Ellie. Yeah, I think her name is I Ellie. I haven't seen Jurassic Park in a long time. Jurassic Park comes in and takes over and starts screwing with everything and Poe Dameron gets all angry and Wah. She be, She says, like, we need to get everyone evacuated from the pod ships and Poe's like, well, Poe makes a good point and he says, well, if you do that, they'll just shoot us down. Like, these have no shields. Uh, and then Laura Dean, for some reason, keeps it a secret that they can go invisible from there. Until, like, the very end of the movie, after yeah. Poe Dameron sacrificed many people's lives to try to save the ship, yeah. which wouldn't need to be done in the first place. And actually, if she didn't tell Poe, if, if she, she told Poe at the beginning, then Finn and the other girl, Rose. Rose, wouldn't have left and wouldn't have hired the guy in the first place that gave it away to the First Order that tried to kill them. Yeah, 
So really, it's Laura Neen's fault, even though she sacrificed herself. Which, like, I, that didn't really even do anything. It barely killed anyone, I yeah. think. And then, that whole casino scene. Which, I'm not, I don't know, do you want to talk about it? I don't even want to talk about it. I'm just going to mm. pretend that that wasn't in the movie at all. Because that was kind of weird. Hmm. BB-8. BB-8 shot coins. Yeah. Alright, so that's... Anyways, and then it comes to the end of the movie, um, the They're ships are flying Hoth. away, they're shooting the ships, and then uh, Jurassic Park light speeds through um, Snoke's ship, uh, ship after uh, Snoke cut... No, Kylo Ren cut Snoke in half, and then these red guards that were standing off to the side waited 20 minutes before actually doing anything, and then... They land on the planet, which I don't think is it Hoth. I think it's Hoth. It's some planet. No, it couldn't be Hoth. I don't know. Hoth is snow. Yeah, that covered in salt. salt. Um, because the guys salt. Anyways, very good impression of him. And then they get attacked, and then it ends with them um, with uh, a, a hologram. Kylo Ren's like, doing his baby reaction, trying to kill um, Luke Skywalker. Turns out Luke Skywalker's like a hologram. He used the Force, and then Luke Skywalker dies. But that's then, after everyone gets away. But that's after everybody gets away. So he saved all the people. And then it ends in true Star Wars fashion with the shroomp of the Millennium Falcon flying away, and everybody's dead. Not everybody. Well, mostly everybody. Yeah. There's like five people left. Five important people. And there's yeah. like the other guys with the gun. And they're like, ha! Ah. Yeah. Oh, no! And Jurassic Park died, which is kind of sad. Yeah. Well, they're coming out with the new Jurassic Park. Yeah. Jurassic World. And it has Jeff Goldblum in it. Yeah. I like Jeff Goldblum. The fly. I am Jeff Goldblum. I'm sure that's how he talks in real life. Yeah. I think like, that is. Mm-hmm. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, tell us what you think of Star Wars um, The Force Awakens. I would say, I don't know. The we'll Force Awakens? Sorry. The, the Last Jedi. What would you review the movie? Out of 10? Out of 10. I'd give it a 7.5 to 8. I still uh, really enjoyed it. There were stupid parts. Like, some parts I didn't understand, but I thought it was still an enjoyable movie. I'm going to give it a 4. A 4? Out of 10. Um, I did not like this movie. Um, I was honestly disappointed. I had heard good things about it, and then when I saw the movie, I was disappointed. So that's my personal opinion. Thank you guys for watching. Um, put your opinions down in the description. So thank you guys for watching, because without you, who'd watch my videos? So, Other people. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching WBTV. If you want to see vlogs and gaming videos, tune in on Wednesday. If you want to see our new podcast, the Friday new show, tune in on Friday. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, comment, and leave a like on this video. And thank you very much. And I'll speak with you again soon.